Hello, this is Robert, and I'm going to be showing my aunties how I make my Jello Strawberry Surprise. It is very easy to make. Here are the ingredients. Everything is from Stata Brothers. We start off with three cans over here. These are 20 ounce cans of chunky pineapple. Now you can get the regular chunks or you can get the smaller chunks called tidbits. I like the smaller chunks, tidbits. Look at that label. You want it in the natural pineapple juice. It also comes in heavy syrup. You don't want that. You want it in the natural pineapple juice. Three cans. And then we have our other 20 ounce can right here, but this is crushed pineapple. In the natural pineapple juice, just like the other ones. Okay. Then you have your just your small box of strawberries that you're going to use. Your three large boxes of Jello. These are six ounce large boxes of strawberry Jello. Then we have our large tub of Cool Whip. This is a 16 ounce tub and just our regular cottage cheese right over here. And this is a 32 ounce. So the large cottage cheese and a large Cool Whip. Our bag of chopped walnuts. This is a 16 ounce bag, right? I mean, this is a six ounce bag of chopped walnuts. And then you just get your bowl of hot boiling water. That is seven cups of hot boiling water. Seven cups right there. And in it, I mix my three boxes of Jello, the juice from my crushed pineapple. I strained it because I'm going to use that later on. The juice I had is going to go in here. So the juice and the seven cups of boiling water, stir it real good. I mean, stir it real good. Then you're going to put it in the refrigerator for about two and a half hours or so. You keep checking it. You want this slushy, not hard. You want it slushy because you're going to mix the rest of your stuff in here and then you're going to let it set overnight. So check on this. You want it nice and slushy and then we'll come back and we'll do that. Okay, this is Robert and I'm back and my jello has been in the ice box for a couple of hours. And if you notice the texture of the jello, it has that slushy look to it. That's what you want. You don't want it hard. You want it slushy like this. And that's going to go into our mixing pan right there. And then we're going to mix in our crushed pineapple. Remember we had drained this and used the juice in the jello? Well, there's the crushed pineapple. There is the strawberries. Here is my three cans of my tidbit chunky pineapple that I drained all the juice out of. There is my bag of walnuts my tub of my Cool Whip, and my cottage cheese. And that's all gonna go into the mixing pan right now. Okay, here is my mixing bowl. And in there, I have all my ingredients. I have my Cool Whip, I have my cottage cheese, I have my strawberries, I have my walnuts, I have my chunks of pineapple tidbits, and I have my crushed pineapple and I'm going to now mix everything together. Okay, all my ingredients have been mixed together right here. And then what I'm going to do right now is use my hand blender right here and I'm going to mix. I'm going to mix it and whip it up really good. Okay, I'm back. And I just finished whipping up everything real good with a hand blender and you can see the texture. And then what I'll do is I will put it in the bowl. I'll put some plastic wrap on top and then I will put it back into the refrigerator and I will let it refrigerate overnight. And then in the morning you will have the texture of jello and that will be the end. Hello family, this is Robert, and here it is, 
This is my Robert's Strawberry Jello Surprise. I let it set overnight in the refrigerator, covered it with plastic, and you can see the texture. It's just like Jello, right there, see? And it's really good, and there are my servings. And so this is for all my aunties, and it's very simple to make, and my mother really enjoys it a lot, right mother? Okay, so that's it. That's Robert's Jello Strawberry Surprise. Bye.